In this short video, we're going to combine logic gates and write their truth tables. Let's look at the pair of logic gates to the right of the screen. We can see that we have an AND gate and we have an OR gate. We can tell this from their symbols. We can also see that there are three inputs. So now let's draw the truth table for this pair of logic gates. The first thing I need to do is draw my truth table. So I'm going to write the inputs, of which there are three, and then the outputs. Now it may look like there's only one output, Q, but I also need to consider the output from the this logic gate as well, which I'm going to call D for no other reason than it's the letter after A, B and C. So I'm going to put D in the middle there. Then I will divide my table up to make it clearer to read. I need to think very carefully about the different combinations of the inputs A, B and C. So I'll start with 1, 1, 1. Then I will put in 1, 0, so 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. Then I'll have just 1, 1 and two zeros, so I will do 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. And then lastly, I'll need to have no 1s and three zeros, 0, 0, 0 make those long enough. I might draw in, you'll have lines on your piece of paper, draw in some lines so that I can see what matches with what. Now I'm going to just take it a step at a time, I'm going to look at output D here from the OR gate. So an OR gate works when A or B is 1, the output D will be 1 as well. So I'm just looking at A and B. So let's have a look. 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. And hopefully you can see from that, so I'm just looking down those first two columns. Down here to get this one. So now I need to combine outputs C and D with my AND gate to see what happens with Q. So fortunately C and D are next to each other in the table. So let's have a little look. If I've got an AND gate only works if both inputs are 1. So I can see here both 1 and 1, both 1 and 1, both 1 and 1. Let's put the numbers in. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. A 0 and a 1, that's going to be 0. A 1 and a 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. And there I have my final truth table. Don't worry if you find this difficult, a lot of people do. You just need to keep a cool head and think logically about it. I've had to draw all over my diagram. That's fine. Use colour. Help yourself. Good luck.